Hi everyone, this is Odd Apostrophe. Let's continue our game of Wahime on PC. ありにどうか。鈴むにばっかり合わせるのはフェアじゃないよね。鈴むだって私たちに合わせてくれてもいい BL の世界からノマカップの世界に連れ戻す。そうです。まずは鈴原先輩の性的興味を熱田先輩から私たちに取り戻します。Boom. The girl's passion met in a fist bump for the ages. The standard Hawaiian pool resort in question was a massive recreational facility with pools, hot springs, a golf course, and all sorts of other tropical island-themed entertainment. It was basically the same kind of staple pool resort everyone in this region had been to at least once. Getting there would take a 30-minute train ride from Susita Station, followed by a free 20-minute bus ride. Once they got off the bus, they would be greeted by a resort entrance lined with palm trees. ヤッホー。ここは俺の庭だぜ。何回来たか数えられねえぜ。そんなに来てるんだ。私は毎日来たとき<笑>現実<笑> いや、ねえとは言えねえぜ。なぜならデュエルオはここにいるんだからな。はいはい。あんたの自慢のデッキ、プールに放り込まれたくなかったらさっさと行くよ。最高よみんな。いざプールリゾートへ。ああ。の先輩、その服随分と攻めてきましたね。あんだよ。似合っててかわいいでしょ。こういう服はあんたみたいなおっぱいモンスターには似合わないからね。こっち。私も巫女服に狐耳とかで攻めればよかった。さんはそういう知識をどこで仕入れてくるかな。わあ、広いね。さすがハワイ、アメリカ、広い。こっちはボケか天然かわからない。それより鈴原先輩。私たちの水着姿を見て何か感想はないんですかえうんみんな可愛いと思うのまたプロレスやんのかって思っちゃうよなひろはみんなかっこよかったよねあちゃん女の子の水着姿を見て感想がそれか私も<笑> また<笑> 
黒髪先輩しばらくお静かにとにかくスズムも重症だよ焦らずまずはじっくりと女の子になじませていこうおおあれやりたいあれやりたいぞあれってビーチボール Toei's eyes gleamed as she looked at a couple playing volleyball in the pool. Just watching it made the pool look so much fun. Great! Oh, Atsuta-kun, Kiga Kiku! Motte kite tanda, beach ball! Masaka, Ore ga hontou ni pool ni made card game o motte kuru to omotta no ka? Eh, wari to. ラミネート済みでプールサイドでもプレイ可能とか言い出すかと思ってたボール膨らます。やってみたかった。黒髪さん、そんなに頑張っちゃうと酸欠にって。ああ、言ってる。そばから。大丈夫。僕が代わりよ
Though she was only seeing most games for the first time now due to the hauntings, her motor skills were on par with Susanome's. The group chatted by the side of the pool after the intense match. Sensing what was up, Hinagata had pried Natsuya away from Suzumu. He took the bait without a second thought. Thanks to that, the girl's greatest obstacle had been removed. Toei pictured a buff middle-aged woman swinging a pot while cooking fried rice. Comparing herself to Lydia, Toei had no choice but to admit defeat in that department. Still, it seems Suzumu was oblivious to the minefield he was currently standing in. No matter what he said, he'd be making an enemy of someone. But Suzumu showed no fear nor hesitation. He stepped barefoot into the minefield. <laughs> Kane and Toei pumped their arms triumphantly. All four of them gave a victory pump, then shot an envious look at Toei, whose hair was the longest of them all. やっぱり女らしいメリハリの効いたボディがいいですよね。ニギアリ。出勝地はすぐにレッカしてかれるよ。そ、そんなことないです。風評被害被害です。取れるのか。黒髪先輩たちはその心配は全く無用だと思います。Even Suzumu realized he'd be hurting someone's feelings no matter how he answered. He looked seriously worried. Lydia lost her patience and grabbed Suzumu's right arm. Lydia pressed her large, supple breasts against Suzumu's palm. Those soft, heavenly melons practically slipped between his fingers. Desperate, Tsubakiko blushed as she pressed her breasts against Suzumu's other hand. <laughs> Kane slipped by Lydia, took Suzumu's hand, and pressed it against her own breasts. Nothing, but... Sakura color. 
綺麗だと思うそ桜色って何の色シズムーブラッシュアンパニック But seeing him like that made the girls even bolder. It wasn't rare for people to drown in the pool, but this was the first time in the resort's history someone was drowning in breasts. Pressed her butt against Suzumu this time. Shockingly enough, it was a perfect fit for Suzumu's own waist. Kane and Tsubakiko placed their rears against Suzumu's arms and made him touch them. Meanwhile, Toei and Lydia were rubbing their butts near Suzumu's danger zone. It wasn't rare for people to drown in the pool, but this was the first time in the resort's history someone was drowning in butts. <laughs> Yeah, I do. 
それは許さないこの中から選べグリグリえディバッシュプールサイドプレジャーヘロン With four high school girls in swimsuits pressed against him, would even Susumu fall victim to the youthful pleasure surging through his body? Once he was out to the side of the pool, Suzumu spotted water from his mouth like a cartoon whale. Suzumu, Shikari. The ceasefire went up in flames. The LCSE's advisor was the school doctor, Hinagata, so naturally all of them knew how to perform CPR. Even Toei had managed to learn it on a day when she conveniently wasn't plagued by hauntings. Toei was grateful. Had she practiced the divine tribute style, she would have thrown off an offer, offertory punch right in then and there. Thank you for leaving me alone that day, curse. But maybe this would be better with some commentary. Welcome to the Suzu High LCSE Cup Battle Royale. This. All four of them engaged in an exchange of open handed backhand chops. The battle royale spiraled straight into chaos. Resounding smacks echoed across the pool as they struck each other in the chest. Would those lacking in the bosom department end up with broken ribs? Or would those with bucks and bosoms see their chests suffering more damage? Tsubakiko lifted Kane up. Was she going for a body slam? No, it was an Oklahoma stampede, a power slam straight toward the pool. What? Kane caught her in midair. She had Tsubakiko in an Uda Hishiji Juji Gatame, a judo arm lock. Kane dragged Tsubakiko into the pool with her. (laughs) 
Lydia suddenly lifted Toy up. She was going for her trademark power bomb, the magical lily bomb. But wait, what was this? Toei sat up and positioned herself to unleash a Frankensteiner. Whoosh. A pillar of water exploded upwards as Toei and Lydia fell into the pool. The battle had shifted into the pool itself. Seriously, do not try this at home, kids. Powerful splashes of water, youths on fire, girls in swimsuits locked in ferocious combat. How lucky you are, Suzumu Suzuhara. All of them are fighting over your lips. A savage battle between maidens trying to take down their rivals in love. But it seemed they'd forgotten something vital. Their common enemy was still at large. <laughs> これは あ、<笑><笑> Natsuya had absolutely no clue why the girls were ganging up on him. Suzumu couldn't help but laugh, but that laughter spread amongst the others. After that, the battles ended and the members of the LCSC played together in harmony. Everyone enjoyed themselves, but especially Toei. She hadn't had this much fun in a thousand years. Afterwards, everyone went to the mixed bathing open air hot spring in their swimsuits and basked in the warm water. Still fired up even after they got out, they headed for the karaoke room to sing their hearts out. That made them hungry, and so they next went to an old-fashioned dining room to feast upon a traditional Japanese meal. Oddly enough, all this alone made them feel like they were on a vacation. Like a three-day vacation away from school. Once they were done eating, they all kicked back and relaxed as they chatted for hours on end. The fun times were there to stay. Hinagata gulped down her beer as she took in everyone's smiles. The smiles of the girls freed from the thousand-year curse. 
the smile of the boy who'd saved them after a thousand year journey. And the smile of the boy at the end of a thousand happy uncursed years. Perhaps being in a role where she could see that happen was a bit of a side benefit. The cursed soot had been split by the quintuplet spell. The descendants of four of them were now purified of that soot. Hinagata, however, still had it. But the divine curse's role was already ending. So before long, the soot would likely be scattered to the winds and drift off into the world. Then, it would aid in someone's grief and become a curse yet again. For as long as there were humans, there would always be a seabed for curses. わからない。今の私は都営だから。夏休みはまだ始まったばっかりだけど、黒髪の都営はどう過ごしたい it wasn't unreasonable. Her hauntings had begun in her later years of elementary school, forcing her to live like an invalid. Her memories of fun summers abruptly ended back in those days. いろいろと頑張りたいわよね。でもライバルはみんな強敵揃いね。みんながどうとかじゃなくて、高校2年生の黒髪トエとして、やり残しのない夏休みを過ごしたい。いい決意よ。高校2年生の夏休みは誰に
天才。We went to the amusement park too. I won at rock paper scissors, allowing me a chance to be all alone with Suzumu. Pretty. See, I was getting really good at this, wasn't I? I did so much over the summer and gained so much valuable experience as a woman. I had to wonder if it was possible for me to fully live the life of a normal girl, though. Any girl my age would scheme a little if it meant she could get some time alone with the boy she liked, right? What? Kurokami-san, Minna. Hmm, Mada. Okashina, Kiko-chan wa saki ni deta hazu na no ni na. I wished summer vacation could last forever, but alas, the end was drawing even closer. So it was about time I finally gathered up my courage and struck. Today, the members of the LCSE were all gathering to clean the shrine. Or at least, that's what I told Suzumu. In reality, it was the station, not the shrine. I texted the girls to tell them we were cleaning the station, then texted Suzumu separately with my little white lie. Because I wanted to see him alone. What did you do, Kurokami-san? I know that you know. He saw right through me. I couldn't... Keep my anxiety hidden, because. Kurokami-san. Suzumu wa itsu kara Kurokami-san nado to watashi o yobunda. Watashi o taskete kureta ano hi kara toe to yonde kureta no dewa nakatta no ka. Gome. Nanda ka. I what was I saying? That wasn't what I wanted to say. That wasn't what this was supposed to be about. Neither of us broke the silence. I knew it. I knew I wasn't cut out for this. I could never be a normal girl. Suzumu and I were finally all alone, and yet I couldn't say a thing. It was Suzumu who caved first. He gazed off into the distance, wearing a sad smile. Kami 
I wasn't sure what Suzumu was getting at, but I felt a pang in my heart and my chest tightening as though some part of me deep down already knew. It doesn't matter to me if you're Suzumu or Mutsu. We finally cross paths after a thousand years. That's good enough. That was what I wanted to say. In my mind, I didn't understand what Suzumu was implying, but in my heart, I did. After all, why else would it be aching so hard? それとも Susumu had handed me a choice, where the wrong answer could lead to a horrible outcome. I had an answer. I was both Toei Kurukami and Susanome at once. But if that wasn't the answer he was looking for, then... I wanted to be with him. After all, I'd loved him for a thousand years. I'd suffer for... I'd suffered for a millennium just to see him again. I was prepared to lie as much as necessary if it meant we could be together. I'd change into whatever he wanted me to be. So in my heart, I begged for him. To tell me what he wanted to hear. Answering a question with a question, I knew I was being childish. But perhaps that question itself was my own answer. もちろん僕にも スズハラスズムの記憶ではないんだ。僕がかつて今の自分とは違う。ムツという人間だった時の記憶。だからそれは今の自分とは切り分けるべき記憶だと思うんだ。スズム didn't have to say anything further. I understood. And that was the definitive difference between Suzumu and I. I was the thousand-year-old Suzunome. I had gone through the cycle of death and rebirth over and over again, with only my body being reborn each time. But he was Mitsu's descendant. He'd inherited only his will. His body and soul had changed with each generation. When the miracle happened, he inherited Mitsu's soul, bringing back the memories of a thousand years ago. 
but that wasn't the same. He was Mutsu's descendant, who merely possessed Mutsu's memories. That's right. He wasn't Mutsu. あなたは千年ぶりでもあなたには私は僕にとって君は僕じゃない大昔のムツという人の記憶の中では知っているけれど僕にとって君は千年ぶりじゃない my heart was tearing apart. The irritating cries of cicadas rang in my ears as if to torment me. I felt heat rushing to my eyes, but I had to hold it back. People who used tears to dodge questions were the worst. I knew that, but I couldn't keep the tears from flowing. Sorry. <sighs> A part of me wanted to bawl my eyes out and bear all my emotions in a jumbled mess, while another part of me simply understood without a fight. I had to acknowledge it. The miracle that he'd brought about was simply freeing me from the curse, not reuniting us after a thousand years. Not by any means. He had dedicated a millennium to breaking the divine curse. I couldn't thank him enough for that. So what right did I have to cry in front of him because my own selfish dream didn't come true? All I was allowed was gratitude. I had to thank him from the bottom of my heart. I knew that. Therefore, I had to make that clear and give him his thanks, so he too could be freed from his thousand-year curse. Thus, I mustered the best smile I could. I couldn't stop my tears from pouring out in droves, but I still gave him the greatest grin I had. <laughs> ことえるね。私は私は千年間ムツという人のことをずっと思い続けてきました。ムツというのはあなたの千年前のご先祖様のこと。そう。あなたのことじゃない。鈴原鈴間のことじゃないんです。私ごめんなさい。あなたのこと勝手に無駄って思い込んでました。あなたは鬱じゃない。鈴原鈴むという全く別の人。だから勘違いして勝手に好きになってごめんなさい。私の呪いを解いてくれて本当にありがとう。この御恩は生涯忘れません。
I lowered my head after I'd gotten all my feelings out. I didn't have the right to look him in the eye. The two of us were strangers. He just happened to be the descendant of the man I'd loved a thousand years ago. The bond between us was just too thin. He called me Suzunome. And so the illusion known as Toei Kurakami would fade away. The Suzumu who'd called me Toei would never return. But, but that was fine. He had to be let loose. Much like he freed me from my thousand year curse, I had to release him from his own. Suzume.僕は <laughs> His voice was choked with sobs. What? I looked up and saw him gritting his teeth with tears in his eyes. I was taken aback. I didn't know how to interpret his declaration. Suzumu's eyes widened as though he'd made up his mind once he saw that. He then looked at me in the eye and said it again. あなたに初めて会った時からずっとずっとあなたのことが好きでした。あなたは進めで今も無つを待っているあなたはそう言ったその時僕の心に確かに悪魔が囁いたんだ。無つの振りをすればあなたを偽れば。あなたと結ばれるんじゃないかという囁きが聞こえたんだ。でも僕はスサーラスズムで無知じゃない。無知の記憶を持つ遠い末裔なんだ。あなたのことも黒髪遠いとして好きになった。スズノメとしてじゃ
の向こうにまだムツという男を見ているのならムツから君を奪い取ってやれ<笑> My thoughts completely ground to a halt All I could feel was his warm breath and his soft lips His kiss was gentle yet firm I couldn't take it anymore. I plunged into his arms and wailed. Not from sorrow, but because I could no longer restrain all the feelings within. A wild jumble of emotions all emerged in fierce torrents with my sobs. <laughs> Come to think of it, not even Mutsu had said anything like that. For the first time in a thousand years, I fell in love again. Not with Mutsu, but with Suzumu Suzuhara. I wanted him to call me Toei again. I tried coaxing him over and over again, but he didn't answer, almost like he was pulling a cruel prank on me. Slowly but surely, his body grew heavier in my arms. Suzuma. Suzuma? Umoi. Umoi to yanoni. Unable to support his weight any longer, we fell to the ground together. All of a sudden, the cicadas went silent, and a cool breeze rustled my hair. Those strands of hair caressed Suzumu's face. He was asleep. He looked like he was sleeping. Suzumu? Suzumu? Oi! Okiro! It was just as Roki Gamehiko no Mikoto had said Death cannot be reversed. I can breathe temporary life into him, but it will only last a short time. All at once I understood what had happened and wept bitterly. <laughs> あなたはこの夏を幸せに過ごせたかしら? 
I didn't understand what she meant, yet that question enraged me for some reason. But when I looked up, Hinagata appeared almost transparent, like I was viewing her through sunlight filtering through the trees. Life's short, so make it sweet. Hinagata's body was fading away, as if her existence was disappearing. In exchange for the miracle of bringing Suzumu back to life for a summer, At that point, I broke down into sobs and could speak no further. But I believed I got my gratitude across. I tried to tell her something else, but her body had all but completely vanished. I spoke so quietly, you couldn't even hear it. Hinagata chuckled when she saw that, and gave me her last and greatest smile. That was the final expression she ever made. In hindsight, Suzumu probably knew. He must have realized his life would only last that summer, back then. On that day, he broke the curse and saved me. Suzumu gave his life in exchange for that miracle. Rokugamahiko no Mikoto had said death could not be reversed. That even if he could be brought back, it, it only be for a limited time. Knowing our time would be limited would have brought me sorrow instead of joy. So I decided against that. But. Hinagata knew. She knew we still had things to say in that limited time. A short time could be a short forever, so long as I never knew it would end. Maya Hinagata vanished on that day. She probably sacrificed herself in exchange for the miracle of bringing Suzumu back for one summer. I couldn't help but wonder exactly who she was. She was one of the descendants of the cursed quintuplets, much like us. And yet, at the same time, she was also the divine curse itself. She'd probably been looking for a way to end that very curse for a while, all on her own. Of course, the miracle had been brought about by a thousand years of continuous effort from Mutsu all the way to Suzumu. But that miracle would never have occurred without her, I was certain of it. She had guided Suzumu down the right path. That was why the miracle had come to pass. All of us should have been more grateful to her. But now, both she and Suzumu were gone. Suzumu's funeral was held on the last day of summer vacation. We prayed the whole time that he'd rise from his casket once more. But that miracle would never occur again. When we realized that in the final moments of the procession, we all clung to the casket and wept. We all believed he would come back. It wasn't until his cremation that we realized it was over. His body turned to ash and rose to the heavens, while what was left of him was put 
into a small urn. How long had it taken Suzumu to bring that about that miracle? A thousand years. Then, Rokugama, Rokugami Hiko no Mikoto granted me a miracle, while Hinagata granted another of her own. I had been granted three miracles in such a short time, each a reward for an entire millennium of persistence. How selfish was I to be wishing for a fourth one on top of all that. The curse had been lifted. Suzumu and I had confessed our feelings and kissed, and I'd wished for a happy future with Suzunome and Mutsu. What more could I ask for? Who else would grant such miracles? No one. To wish for more would be so greedy that even God would tire of it. We looked up at the fumes rising from the crematorium's smokestack. Our eyes were all red and puffy, our cheeks dry with tears. あれと本気で思ってた。うん。だから、おいらは今日を。こう思ってる。今日は。鈴むんのお葬式の日じゃない。鈴原先輩が。役目を終えて。天に帰った日。ですね。ありがとう。ありがとう。鈴むん。ありがとうございます。鈴原先輩。私たちみんなを。鈴むが助けてくれたこと。私たちはずっと。忘れないからね。クロッチはあの日さ。I was dumbfounded. For some reason, they all knew I'd sent Suzumu a misleading text so we could have time to ourselves. クロカミさん、鈴ムへのメール。部のメーリングリストに返信で送っちゃったでしょ。メーリング。クロカミ先輩が鈴原先輩に送ったメール。私たち全員にも届いてるんですよ。おいらたち感動しちゃってたよ。
これだけは言えますそれをもって私たち降参すると思ったら大間違いですから私たちだってもっともっと魅力的になってスズムからキスしてもらえるようになっちゃうんだからだから今はほんのちょっとだけのリードを許すだけオイラたちすぐにスズムのハートを奪い返しちゃうんだからさ受けて立ってやる。We were talking like Suzumu was still alive and like he was never coming back all at the same time. Or perhaps we were simply too shocked to know how to accept it. But time is compassionate just as it is cruel. Gradually it gnawed away at our hearts. Fall semester had started. Hinagata. Who'd run the infirmary and the LCSE was gone. Eventually, a new teacher arrived to take over the infirmary like nothing had happened. But the LCSE had been created by Hinagata in order to help those girls who were suffering from hauntings. So it wouldn't have been an exaggeration to call it her own personal club. The school had a meeting with Kane to discuss whether the club should be shut down or not. And in the end, Club activities were to be suspended until a new advisor could be found. However, all, other, all the other teachers were too busy. With so few students and no trophies or certificates involved, there wasn't a teacher eccentric enough to take on the club on top of their other duties. But the club's bonds couldn't be severed by the whims of the school alone. Not ever. の力が及ばずで本当にごめん仕方ないっすよ雛形先生がいなくなっちまったんだしうん寂しいですねこの教室ともお別れですかうんこの教室は市役所が選挙の投票箱とかをしまう倉庫に使いたいんだってさ。たくや。なんで部活顧問の一つや二つ引き受けてくれねえんだよ。どいつもこいつも。くそ教師だもめ。始末だぞこれ。But no matter how much she bellowed, there was nothing they could do. As of today, the LCSE had been suspended and lost its club room. に顧問なんかいなくったっていいじゃないですか。俺たちは俺たち。グレート社長ホブなわけだし。そうそう。あつたくんの言う通りだよ。顧問がいなくったって物質がなくったって私たちは社長ホブ。社務所の部屋を借
それは言葉が悪かった気持ちはさオイラもわかるよスズムやタマヤに帰ってきてほしいって気持ち私にだってあるでもさ私たちお葬式行ったよねスズムの棺が蓋されて釘を打たれて火葬場の炉の中に入って灰になってお骨になって骨壺に収まるところまで全部見たよねそんなの分かってますってスズムが死んだ奇跡は二度も起こらない分かってますってでもだからってスズムの帰る場所を残しちゃいけないなんてルールないですよねうんそんな権利はオイラにはないよだからそれはヒコチーたちの勝手それは否定しないよじゃあ私は勝手にやるスズムの帰ってくる場所私は一人でも守る黒髪先輩の意見に私も同感ですリディア suddenly broke her silence she always seemed very reserved so トウェイ was glad to get her approval でも誤解しないでくださいね私も一緒にという意味ではないですからスズハラ先輩が帰ってくることを信じてシャチホコブを守り続ける一人でもだからそれをやりたい人だけでどうぞご自由にという意味ですリリアちゃんそれはちょっと冷てんじゃ温度差があるようならすみませんでもこれだけは誤解しないでくださいスズハラ先輩のことが大好きでみんなに負けないくらい私も悲しいのは同じだということですでもその悲しみとの向かい合い方は人それぞれだと思いますそういうことスズムンのために部活を守り続けるぞおうってそういう気持ちじゃない人だっているのさこういう時の女の子って誰が最後まで奇跡を信じられるかっていう我慢比べになると思いますそれで悲しみがいくらか言えるのなら私も加わろうかなと思いますでもさスズムはもう死んじゃってるわけ絶対に起きない奇跡を信じて待ち続けるなんてさバカバカしいことかもしれないじゃんスズムのためにシャチホコブを守り続けるってことはさスズムを失った悲しみをずっと引きずり続けるってことでしょスズムはそんなこと望むかなオイラは望まないと思うスズムならいつまでも悲しんでないで私たちに早く笑ってほしいって思うはずだもん<笑>そういうことです自分のためにシャチホコブを守り続けてほしいなんてスズハラ先輩が願うわけがない私やミノベ先輩はそう考えてますじゃあどうするの二人の進むへの思いはどうするの綺麗に整頓して小さく畳んで心にしまうよそして悲しみから立ち直って元の日常に戻って空の進むに一日でも早く元気な自分を見せたいでもスズムンのことは一生忘れないよ私にはシャチホコブを無理やり残そうとすることがまるでスズハラ先輩を悲しみの言い訳に使ってるようにしか思えませんスズムを言い訳になんて
だから部を残したいなら個人の自由でご勝手にって言ってるんです社長こぶはみんな揃って社長こぶなんだよバラバラになったら鈴もを悲しむよわかんないのそれが鈴原先輩を言い訳にしてるって言ってるんですキコチ悲しみ方は人それぞれだよ私にもリディアンにもそれぞれの形での悲しみ方があるんだよなんで悲しむんだよすすはらだぜグレートすすはらだぜ勝手に殺すなよ悲しむなよあいつは帰ってくるよ絶対一度奇跡を起こしてよみがえったんだなら二度目の奇跡なんて起こせるさあの時は歌詞状態を医師が誤診しただけです奇跡なんて初めから何も起こっていないもうやめてやめてこんな私たちをスズムが見たいわけがないんだなのに私たちはどうしてみんな負けないくらいにスズムのことが大好きなのにどうして There was a bitter silence. Everyone knew that already. They were all grieving just as hard as the next. That was why they were having this fight no one wanted. ちょっと歩バイトをしてた。おいらほら、要領いいからさ。店長にチフト入れるならいくらでもいいよって言ってもらって。高校出たらすぐにでも一人暮らしを始めるつもりだったし。みんなみたいにのんびり高校生活を返
奇跡を信じる番なの私も信じるよ一緒に進むの帰る場所を守ろうハルミヤ俺もだぜグレート二代目俺はデュエル王だデッキの最後の一枚まで逆転を絶対に疑わねえさすが男の子その根性上等だよ<笑>同僚なんてしてたまるかデュエリストの恥だぜナッチのとことんのバカっぷり嫌いじゃないわ私も仕事が忙しくなかったら熱田先輩たちと一緒にいられたかもしれないのに二度と帰ってきちゃいけないルールはねえんだぜ俺たちシャチホコ部は死ぬまでシャチホコ部員だな部長うんそうだねだから猪部先輩もリリアちゃんもこれからもずっと私たちはシャチホコ部の仲間だよもちろんさ私たち死ぬまでシャチホコ部ですからシャチホコ魂忘れるな Toei gave Didia a chop on the chest and open handed backhand chop Didia chuckled and struck Kane in return Kane laughed and struck Natsuya who struck Tsubakiko who struck Toei The five members passionately struck each other in the circle. Then Toei struck Didia again, followed by Didia striking Kane, and the cycle went on and on. Something warm welled in their hearts. They all smiled while holding back tears. Everyone turned around in shock. Standing there with an expression that suggested she'd been listening the whole time was an image of Hinagata. No one was there. Hinagata wasn't there. It was nothing more than a daydream. わかんない白昼。ええ、いやいや、白昼なんかじゃねえだろ。俺は見たぜ。みんなも見たろ。な、な。みんなで一緒に見る白昼なんて聞いたことねえよ。どいちゃん。2代目部長の就任おめでとう
she'd never seen a haunting quite like this in a thousand years. She couldn't comprehend what was happening. After all, there should have been no more miracles. Suzumu, Roku Gamehiko no Mikoto, and Hinagata's miracles had already ended. No one should have been left to grant a miracle. And yet the seemingly impossible had happened. Just then, Toei felt a wondrous premonition strike her. Unable to stay still any longer, she got up on her feet. She looked around the room as if searching for something. ポールをずっと使わないで溜め込んできたからだって。みんなしばらく来られなくてごめんねでも僕も雛形先生もようやく落ち着けたんだすすはらくん一日も早く幸運に戻りたいって頑張ったのよどうしたのみんなまるで幽霊でも見るみたいな目で泣いてたのそれが僕のせいだとしたらごめんね僕は帰ってきたよそしてこれからはずっと君とそしてみんなと一緒にいるよ Everyone knew this was a daydream, a haunting. Toei was no exception, of course. But even so, she and Suzumu had been reunited. It was a miracle. Then who had wished for this? Mutsu. No, to be exact, the Mutsu from a slightly different world. I'd like to thank her. This was the miracle wished for by the Mutsu who'd saved Suzunome. Mutsu was so grateful, he wished that the one who'd created a miracle for him, Toei, could have a miracle of her own. <coughs> Let her smile. Bestow upon her a miracle that will bring back her smile, no matter how much sorrow she's had to bear. And when Hinagata vanished at the shrine, the cursed soot that was sealed within her was released and scattered to the winds. It was split up amongst the members of the LCSC. The cursed soot had the power to remove one's spiritual defenses and re render them susceptible to intervention by spirits. So everyone in the LCSC was capable of receiving hauntings again. That was why the clubs departed could interpose themselves among the others. Of course, normally this would have meant evil spirits were free to terrorize them with nightmares again, much like they used to. <coughs> but that wasn't the case here. As for why... <laughs> Yakusoku 
みんな僕はもうどこへも行かないよ常にみんなを見守っていてみんなと一緒にいるからずっと。やっぱりすすはらはグレートだったぜ夏くんこれからもずっと僕の友達でいてくれる当たり前だぜ相棒俺たちは生涯グレート親友だぜヒコちゃん僕を心配してくれてありがとうでももう二度と。心配なんかさせないからね当たり前じゃんもう一度心配させたら鈴宗も始末っちゃうぞ先輩これからも僕は先輩と一緒にいていいですかリリアちゃんずっと君を応援し続けるよだから僕をこれからも君のファンでいさせてくれるダメですだって先輩は私の専属マネージャーじゃないですか<笑>やっぱりすすはらくんはみんなのすすはらくんなのねトエ僕は今この奇跡をすごく喜んでるなぜなら僕は千年トエと一緒に添い遂げることができるようになったから本当だな本当に千年一緒にいてくれるのもちろん。千年ずっと一緒にいる約束するよ遅いその約束十年遅い百年遅い千年遅いだから千年じゃ足りないもっともっともっとずっと一緒にもちろんもう僕は二度と声を離さない進むあらいた、たたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたた Well, everybody was happy with it.、Um, I personally think it's way too long.、Um, this is one of those games which I、um, really like, but I feel that heavy, heavy, heavy editing could be done、uh, to make the scenarios flow better and faster and smoother.、Um, but even with all that said,、uh, I, it is a journey which I am glad to have taken. Uh, with all of you.、Um, it's、uh, interesting that the final part of the game is basically a rom com <laughs>、uh, after the、uh, curse has been lifted.、Um, I, I suppose that、uh, it must have been too hard to accept uh, the, uh, the final ending. Uh, without some levity、uh, to help ease、uh, all the terror that we had to feel through most of the game. I can actually say that I would suggest this to、uh, most fans who like horror and romance,、um, but that may be a bit of a small audience that would like both at the same time.
uh, there is an additional chapter which uh, covers uh, the teacher uh, as DLC, uh, which was made available originally as part of the PlayStation 4 release. Uh, but if you purchase this game on Steam, the DLC uh, is also available. Uh, so we will cover that, uh, which will be uh, more in line with the uh, early part of this game uh, with both the uh, horror and the comedy. It's hard to believe we've finally come to the end after many weeks of, uh, of me reading and uh, you participating as well. I hope to do many more visual novels, uh, both in romance and horror and comedy. I think this was an unexpected surprise for me uh, since I have never played uh, the author's previous uh, visual novels or sound plays. Uh, that were part of the When They Cry series. I think it's something that we could potentially do together if you'd like. Uh, those are, you know, much, much older, uh, uh, older experiences. Uh, I think it took um, 10 or 12 years for those, uh, all the chapters to make them over to uh, this side of the world. Uh, but uh, that is timeless and from my understanding, most of the fans um, feel that uh, this game is not quite as strong as uh, When They Cry, uh, which would be surprising because I feel that this game is very strong, with the exception of the rather lengthy, 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 <laughs> drawn-out <laughs> scenes. But no one can say that you're not getting your money's worth. <laughs> You've got many, many hours uh, of going through this game. Uh, I know some people like to have visual novels with uh, more choices uh, ba uh, based in them, uh, but personally I like visual novels that are a single thread where I don't have to manage bad endings left and right. Um, but that's just personal preference. Uh, uh, I of course will play either type of game, um, but yeah, you'll find me you know, enjoying it much more when I don't have to manage choices. and keep track of the myriad number of routes that could possibly exist in some of these games. Uh, I will look for another horror-based game uh, here very soon, or horror-based visual novel here very soon. Um, we won't stay too far away from horror visual novels, uh, but they have to strike the right balance of horror and uh, tastefulness, which we can put on YouTube. Um, that is very, very difficult, <laughs> believe me. Japanese visual horror novels can get rather intense, and the intensity is not the way of YouTube. Uh, or Twitch or Facebook gaming. Hmm. <laughs> Iwaimato Shrine's Doll Memorial Hall. Once a user on a certain occult forum had reported that when they prayed at the shrine for a curse on a hated enemy, that wish had been granted. The place had had some cachet ever since. If you made top ten lists of Japanese occult hotspots, then this place would be on every single one. ようこそ この地を All right, 
Once again, this is Autopostrophe, and you've been watching Iwaihime on PC. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.